We're Hudson and Emily, and so far we've traveled to 130 countries on our mission to visit every country in the world. So if you're looking to plan a vacation this year but have no idea where to begin, we're gonna share our top five recommendations for countries to visit this year. So the first country on our list is Japan. Right now it seems like everyone is headed to Japan and it is incredible. We recently were there and besides the toilets, which is reason enough to go to Japan, it is definitely something to add to your bucket list. There are so many other things to see and experience there. The people are so kind and yeah, the culture is just amazing. A fun thing that we did was went to a karaoke. It's not literally a bar because if you get nervous, performing karaoke in front of people, you would love this because it's your own booth just with you and your friends. I'm Niles from Japan And the one we went to had unlimited ice cream and soda, so so much fun. Definitely need to add that to your time in Tokyo. Other things that are amazing in Tokyo is just the food in general is incredible. Even to 7-Elevens have incredible food there. Are going to an authentic soba noodle restaurant. Anything there, the culture is amazing. You can see old and new in the world's largest city. They have temples that are over 1300 years old there. And they also have brand new buildings like the world's third tallest structure and the twin of the Eiffel Tower. I also I also loved they have the busiest crosswalk in the world. So we walked by that multiple times. There are a lot of people. So many things to do and that's just in Tokyo alone. So definitely add Japan to your bucket list this year. From talking to our travel friends, that seems to be definitely one of the top places to go. The next country we'd recommend is Peru. And that is because there is so much variety of beauty there. There's everything from mountains to beaches, sand dunes, and of course, one of the seven wonders of the world. This is one of my personal favorite countries. It is amazing. The thing I was not ready for was just the beauty of the mountains there. So not just like Machu Picchu, but the whole drive through the Sacred Valley is one of the prettiest places that we've ever seen. And it really is a great mix of Lima being a huge city and lots of great culture and food to going out to Cusco and seeing all of the ancient, ancient, ancient Incan, that's a tongue twister, history that is there. This video is sponsored by Unbound Merino, which I am super excited about because this was the company that I bought my first Merino wool shirt from, and it's been with me to over a hundred countries. If you talk to any traveler, you know about the magical properties of Merino wool clothing. It is lightweight, it is odor resistant, and it keeps you from having to do laundry as much when you're on the road. Like literally, I have four t-shirts because that's all that I where. Unbound Merino was created by travelers, which I feel like is always a really good sign because they know what travelers are looking for. They understand the importance of taking good quality clothing that you can reduce the amount of luggage that you're carrying. So we are really big fans. And the best thing about Unbound Merino is unlike other Merino wool clothing, they design it both for function, but also to look good too. So if you're trekking through Patagonia, it's incredible. But if you're also exploring Paris, you can wear it and know that you have a great looking shirt also. It's sustainably sourced from independent farms in Australia, so you can feel confident knowing that you are getting sustainable and ethically sourced clothing that is cruelty free. So click the link in our description below to shop Unbound Merino and absolutely pack this for your next trip. It is a travel game changer. Now, country number three on the list, we debated putting in because it seems like it's on everybody's list, but for good reason. Number three is Iceland. And the reason why it is so popular and so amazing for travelers is because you can see so many beautiful things in such a small area. They've got beaches, they have black sand beaches. They've got volcanoes, geysers, waterfalls, and HUD loves waterfalls. And it's the perfect country for road tripping, which we love because it reminds us of our RV days. Um, I also would add that it's not as expensive as I expected it to be. It's all about expectations, but we went in 
um, being like, we are just going to the grocery store and we are packing things for like sandwiches and salads that we can make literally in the car as we're driving. So that is a tip if you're going to Iceland and want to save some money, but we absolutely love it and hope we can return again someday soon. Any country that you can swim in a blue Gatorade-like pool <laughs> is incredible. I think there's only one country that you can do that in is Iceland. Depending on what time that you go, we just missed it. Sometimes it will be flowing lava, which looks incredible and like em said the budget as long as you pre-plan ahead there are affordable housing there is places for hostels so it you can save and not spend a ton but it can get pricey if you want to go to the high end as well country number four we're trying to hit different areas of the world while we're doing this so country number four is jordan and jordan blew us away especially by the kindness of people there so one story is we were at this falafel shop and this guy kept asking us how many do you want how many do you want and i'm like buddy just give me a little time i'm trying to figure that out and we were talking and we told him we'd like 10 falafel balls and here he was just asking because he wanted to give us for them for free as many as we wanted i just was so blown away by his kindness and that culture it's like very common that people do that and you have to continue like say no, say no. But if they keep insisting, they mean it. And it was just so kind that he took the time to do that. Middle Eastern hospitality, any country that we've gone to in the Middle East has blown us away. Definitely some of the nicest in the world. And there's not many countries that you can go to to see one of the actual seven modern wonders of the world. And that is the case in Jordan where you can see Petra, which sometimes things and pictures don't live up to the hype but Petra is one of those places that really blows you away. It's amazing to think that so many years ago, they were carving these amazing buildings in the side of the rock, but be sure to go there early in the morning because in the summer it can be hot and the crowds can be crazy, we've heard. Another place we loved in Jordan was the Dead Sea. <laughs> There's not many places in the world that this guy can float, but in the <laughs> Dead Sea, you can most definitely float, although you definitely don't wanna splash any water into your eyes. But this was such a fun experience to literally be in the Dead Sea. And there's so many other incredible things. One of the largest Roman ruins outside of Italy is in Jordan, actually. And we didn't get to go there this time, but Wadi Rum is an incredible area that you can go out into these luxury camping or in tents, whatever your budget allows. It's one of the easiest countries to road trip through. Yeah and the people there are so kind. And country number five on our list, last but not least, is New Zealand. And this country, they have the North and the South Island, and pretty much anything you can imagine is on both of these islands. Queenstown, which is in the South Island, is known as the adventure capital of the world. There is so much to do there. We did this free fall swing where they literally cut the, the rope and it was terrifying but amazing at the same time. It's also um, in the North Island, the birthplace of Zorbing, which is the first time we'd ever tried Zorbing. It was incredible. So in the South Island, around Queenstown, the entire area is so beautiful. We did a flyover scenic view flight there. One of the prettiest areas that we saw. And then we did a tour to Milford Sound, which are these huge mountain peaks with water running through, and there's probably like a thousand waterfalls right after it rains. One of the prettiest areas in the world. Yeah, you can spend months in New Zealand and still not have experience at all, so highly recommend adding that to your list as well. So there you have it, the top five countries we'd recommend traveling to this year. But there are so many incredible countries around the world and we're really grateful that we've been able to experience some of them so far. So we'd love for you to subscribe to see more of our journey to travel to every country. And don't forget to visit the link in our description to see Unbound Marino and pack their incredible shirts for your next trip.